let's start our little show. Hi friends, subscribe while I'm putting the gloves on. Today's episode is going to be very, very simple. Number one, I'm gonna tell you that it is possible to estimate the mileage on your SRAM GX cassette. Number two, we're gonna find out whether there is difference in shifting performance between about 3000 miles, really beat cassette and just about 150 miles, pretty new GX cassette. And number three, can you tell the shifting performance difference between the SRAM and Shimano? This is going to be GX versus Shimano XTR, also 12 speed cassette difference. I see a lot of difference. So let's start by comparing the cassettes. Okay, as we are only comparing the performance of the cassettes, I'm gonna switch the clutch off in order to get even better shifting performance. And now let's see. I'm not going any lower because this derailleur is made for the 1045 cassettes. Oh yes, this is one of my funniest purchases on Craigslist. GX uh, 300 kilometers, I bought it new with the bike. So this is mine. And GX Eagle, a couple of thousands of miles. Even before you look at the shapes of those teeth, one thing to look at here. This versus this. Look at the low gears. These larger sprockets are made for uphills. You can see this one was being used on MTB on super super steep hills because this I've never seen this like that and this one is true I haven't been using this one too much because my driller is only made for 1045 a cassette with a shorter cage so as you can see some flat roads trails 300 kilometers that's around 101 what 80 miles so you already know this one was much more beat, was used in more difficult uh, terrain. And now let's just look at those corresponding teeth. Uh, I've put this cassette in the same um, position so that we'll see the corresponding ones and compare them. Before we make a super macro close-up, let's just compare how these teeth were used. I'm measuring just at the top of the teeth so this one for example has 3.2 millimeters that's here and this one on the left has 3.45 we can see the differences here we have 3.08 and here about four huge differences in these teeth there we go, 4K Super Macro, we can see everything here. Just as I explained to you with the XX1 uh, cassettes video, such a shape of a tooth doesn't mean that uh, it was supposed to be 
uh, to look like this one because when we look at the corresponding tooth on the almost new cassette it's pretty much the same uh, because these teeth have to have different shapes so that the chain will upshift and downshift beautifully but when you look at this one you can tell straight away that we've got thousands of miles here and that shifting from 12 to 11 here will be problematic because this thing will actually push the, uh, the, the chain away back to the 12 uh, gear. You see? So once it doesn't have this nice edge which takes or scoops up the chain, the links, and secondly, it's not as smooth. And same thing here. This cassette shouldn't be about uh, uh, with the training and riding on it in mind. Okay, I just paid like 12 bucks for it because that's what it's worth. It's worth to, to make a jewelry out of it. One more thing, no teeth right here, one and two. Why here? Because there is a ramp for the chain to shift from second to first, which is problematic on, or the most difficult on 12 speed cassette. That's why I don't really like 12 speed. I prefer 10 or 11. Um, and this ramp allows the chain to go up and just like hold on to the tooth. That's what the chain did here. Somebody was riding very steep hill up the hill, pushing the pedals a lot. So the chain went up and took off these two teeth. This is our almost new cassette. You can see that when we shift, the chain has actually to flex and to leave one tooth right here and to hold on to the next one on the next uh, sprocket. Uh, and it goes both ways, up the, the, the cassette and down the cassette. It looks nice here and the shifting here is super crisp. And I think this is the best explanation of why this cassette won't be shifting really well. This tooth, which is really worn, will not like this chain. It won't like anything. Because now the chain simply doesn't fit these teeth and, and such a thing on the tooth will really make the shifting more difficult. Here we can see this ramp, how nicely it fits to the shape of the link. So it will take it up to the lowest one. And here we can see that the chain, which is pretty new, doesn't even fit these teeth on the worn cassette. So now you know what to look at when buying a used cassette or when to replace yours in order not to damage your precious jewelry. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more such a content as there will be tons of such videos this season and see you in the next one.